Hi, welcome to part two of these videos designed to introduce you to the new Office Mail App feature in Enterprise Vault 1003. In this video, I want to show you some of the actions available to a user when interacting with the new Office Mail App. Okay, so let me just log on to OA here. And you'll see I have a mixture of archived and unarchived items. If I activate our app on one of these items and zoom in here, you'll see we get a message telling us that Enterprise Vault has not archived this item. And if I pop down and hit the store button here, you'll see I get a message telling me I have to select a retention category before storing this item. Now, of course, depending on your policy settings, this option might not be visible to the user, but I wanted to show it here. So let's go ahead and pick one of these. In fact, you'll see that before I pick one, I can't even hit the OK button to continue with the archive operation. So I'm going to go ahead and select legal documents. We get a message telling us that the item will be stored for four years. And I can go ahead and hit OK to store this item in my archive. So the app is now sending the request to Enterprise Vault server. These buttons are going to be disabled temporarily whilst this goes on. Uh, and hopefully in a second, there we go, Enterprise Vault is now archiving this item. In fact, it's archived it now. So it's changed to reflect the fact that it's now an archived item. Uh, and you'll see the, the options available to us have changed. Um, and in fact, if I just navigate away and navigate back onto that item to show you that it has become an archived item. So that's archiving an item. Next up, let me show you how to view an archived item. So I've logged back into my, my OA portal here. If I navigate down the bottom, I have an archived item ready. If I activate our app, you'll see we have the message telling us that it's been archived and the options available to us for an archived item. So I'm going to go ahead and hit view here to view the archived item. As soon as I hit that, you'll see the Enterprise Vault starts to retrieve the item. And there we go, we've, we've successfully opened the item to view it. Now, let me just move this here. You'll see we still have the Office Mail app bar on these items, as it appears for all items. But if I activate our Office Mail app, you'll see we show a message indicating that this is in fact the original item. So all I can do here is, is launch search and archive explorer. Okay, next up is restore. This is how we restore an archived item back to the user's Exchange mailbox. I'm going to go and pick an archived item here, activate our Enterprise Vault app, and um, let's hit restore. You'll see the progress wheel spin as soon as I hit that as we communicate with Enterprise Vault, and then the item is going to start to be restored back to the user's mailbox. So there we go, the request has been sent. Enterprise Vault is now restoring that item back into the user's mailbox. Uh, I'm going to stick around for a bit here and we should see the item suddenly change back into the original item at some point. There we go. So that's now the original item back in the Exchange mailbox. And if I navigate to that item again uh, from somewhere else in the mailbox, we should see that it's obviously eligible for archiving again. So there we go, a message saying it's not archived as it's the original item again, and I could go ahead and, and store that item again. Finally, I'm going to switch to Outlook to show the remaining features. Let me pick an item here, um, activate our, our mail app, and I want to show you search launching from within the mail app. So if I hit search uh, on the left here, you'll see that we pop up a new web browser window um, where the user can perform a search of their, their archive. And likewise with Archive Explorer here, I can click that and we go ahead and launch Archive Explorer. Last up is, is delete. This is how a user deletes an archived item. So if I pick an archived item here, you can see it's a shortcut. I'm going to go ahead and hit the delete button. You can see as soon as I hit that, we get a confirmation prompt asking if I'm sure. Do I actually want to delete this item? I'll hit OK. And you'll see we send the delete request to the Enterprise Vault server. And a few moments later, the item will be deleted. 
There we go. Now, there's one final thing I want to return to, and that's replying and forwarding to items. Now, if I click on an archived item down here, you'll notice that the, the body content of the email is, is truncated. That's because this is the archived item, so this, this message shortcut doesn't have the full message content. Now, if I was to reply or forward directly from this message, then only that shortcut content will be forwarded to the email recipient. So if I want to be able to forward or reply and include the entire message content, you need to view or first restore the item um, in order to get the full message content. So I've just hit view there and you'll see now we have the full message body, all the text from the original item. So now this is the item that I want to reply to. I'm going to hit reply here and you'll see in this pop-up window there's the original message content. So just something to bear in mind. Um, this is slightly different from our old OA behavior. So now you, you need to view or restore the item before replying or forwarding to it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.